Hi, in this short e-lecture I would like to discuss one central question of referencing objects. The question of local reference. Or in other words, I would like to discuss how we reference an object in space. In fact, there are several options of defining the position of an object in space or the position of an object with regard to another one. These ways are referred to as local reference. Here are some examples. You would probably agree with me that this situation can be described as the ball is under the chair. And this here is clearly a situation where you would all say the ball is on the chair. What about this one here? We possibly all agree that we can say the ball is to the right of the chair. But couldn't we also say the ball is to the left of the chair, seen from the position of the chair? And what about this situation here? Would we still agree that the ball is under the chair? Well, depending on the definition of the reference point and the position of the addressee, we can distinguish several types of local reference. Let's define them on the basis of my position, the position of the board behind me, well I already said behind me, and your position, which for me is symbolized by the camera and for you by your position in front of your computer screen. The first situation I would like to mention is referred to as primary deictic reference. And here I would say the board is behind me. The primary deictic definition of an object in space uses the speaker, that is me in this case, as a reference point and also as the origin of the coordinate system and relates all other objects to the speaker's position. So I am the reference point and the origin here. In saying the ball, the board, sorry, the board is on the wall, I have a case of secondary deictic reference. Now the secondary deictic definition of an object in space uses the speaker as the origin of the coordinate system, but the reference point is another object here, the wall. So seen from my position, the board is on the wall. And then there is the intrinsic reference. You, that is my audience, you are in front of the board. The intrinsic definition of an object in space uses an external addressee as the origin of the coordinate system, in this case you. The reference point is any other object. So the origin is thus your position and the reference point is the board. So this is from your point of view and you are somehow behind the camera, as I said earlier on. These and other principles contribute to the organization of conversation considerably. Well, so much for the principles of referencing objects in space. In fact, there is much more to say about this is issue, for example, how we relate objects to one another, why we prefer, for example, the water is in the bucket instead of the bucket is around the water, or why we think the tree is in front of the building is more adequate than the building is behind the tree. These and other cases of referencing and other principles of conceptualization are normally attributed to psycholinguistics or to studies into language and cognition. So thanks for now. See you again.